here we are with this really nice Dak figure from Artisan. And our basic flesh colours. I start with a base colour of um, mahogany brown. And then um, we also use uh, a Panzer Aces paint, again there by Vallejo. Flesh base and highlight flesh. They are my go-to colours. So to start with, we've got the mahogany brown. And you just apply a neat base coat of that. Now actually I'll put the, um, I'll do all the skin tones, the, the flesh, um, after I've done the uniforms. A lot of people prefer to do it this way, um, but just for the, the benefit of this tutorial and everything sort of showing up well, I thought I'd do it at the beginning, but um, yeah. Don't know why I do the flesh at, at the end. Um, a lot, like I say, a lot of people, if not most people that I know, get it at the beginning. So there's the mahogany brown. Alright, so here's our figure. It's just in a, a bit more. I'm sure we've got good coverage. Now that's our shadow colour. That's going to be all of our um, deep areas. And then we're going to build up on top of that. Because mahogany brown is a it's quite a deep colour, but I think it's a really nice um, base tone for, for flesh. And then what we do, um, go into our wet palette here. My mahogany brown is here. And my flesh base, the Panzer Races flesh base is here. And as you can see, I've already done it, but I'll just do it again. I probably do about 50-50, but a mix of those. That's it, and then what you want to do is then build that up a bit more. Um, probably looking at about 90% of the figure, if not more. Not much of that mahogany brown is going to be left underneath, just the eyes. Uh, let's try and get it in the camera. Yeah. A little bit more tricky doing it with a camera. Just leaving the recess at any sort of really deep areas um, with the mahogany brown, but as you can see, there's Most of it. Okay. 
Yeah, you can already see some of those uh, facial features are starting to be defined and that's only the first, um, first layer. out the hands do apologize if the camera angles are not great this is uh, this is my first tutorial video so do leave any comments if you've got any uh, tips and advice equally if you like this sort of video and if it's helpful to you That's that. Building up those cheekbones, building up the nose, the chin, all those high points. Okay, and then, so next up we go for um, flush base, um, just straight. And this time we just want to sort of focus on those higher areas. So really focus on the nose and again, those cheekbones, those higher points. Same with the fingers, just um, again, you want to basically draw those fingers in if there's not definition on the, on the model itself. Sometimes there is, sometimes there's not. That's it. So it's really starting to come to life now. Let's do the other hand. A lot of people ask me what brushes I use as well, and we'll go into, um, I was thinking that would be another good video to uh, to show what brushes I use. And um, yeah, the jobs that they do. Here we go, right, so you can see now we've got some definition. Now the next one is we're gonna mix in that highlight flesh. Again, about 50-50 with the flesh base. Perhaps a bit more on the flesh base. Um, so about 60% flesh base. And then this is where we start to really get into those highlights now. So we're looking at the we're looking at the nose, we're looking at the upper parts of the cheeks. Like this. So the, the whole of the nose can still get uh, covered. And like I say, you want to sort of I draw the outline just below the eye at the top of the cheek. Like that. Just those high points, and then also those just below the nose and the chin. So uh, this guy's ears aren't showing, but also the um, the ears for highlighting obviously high points. And then with the, with the hands. Again, I draw in the fingers like that, and I give uh, an extra, probably an extra layer to like the um, the joints and the knuckles. You can see here. Okay, and then um, basically you just keep adding up that highlight flesh. You can do another another layer here if you want. So let's do another one again, just slightly less than before. Real high points again, just the real edge of things here. See, I made a bit of a mistake there. Just get some water, put that in. We can. Cool. 
cool. And yeah, let's uh, with the fingers, let's just look at those knuckles now. That mix. Very upper areas. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit more highlight flash for the last highlight. And that literally is gonna be those, like the tip of the nose, the very edge of it here. Like that. And again, those knuckles and the very, the tops of the ears as well, if, if they were visible. And as you can see, that, that, those highlights there, those final ones, really make the skin pop. Just a dot at the top there. And there we go. I hope that was uh, helpful and that you were able to see everything. So I'm sure we'll do some more tutorials in the future and um, I can explore ways to, uh, to display it on the camera. But I hope that was I hope that was useful. Gives you a few pointers. Um, we'll look at other tutorials in the future as well. Uh, thanks very much.